Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk to you about AC Light Group again. For those of you who don't know what AC Light is, it's a workflow that was released by Kijai that allows you to change the background of an image but also grant you full control over your light on your final results. However, this AC Light Group has its own limitation. It can work or it can't work on high resolution images and also it can't preserve the detail of an images. For example, here we have a new background for these images, however, the text can be readable. So today I'm gonna show you a new technique that allows you to preserve your text and change the background and the lighting with the AC Light group. As you can see here, we change the light and the background and we preserve the original text. This technique is very useful for those of you who want to do e-commerce on a certain type of product. So this tutorial is a is not a beginner tutorial so you can refer to my first video on AC light workflow and how to install it then you can come and watch this video in order to understand what is happening here and without further ado let's dive into tutorial so first i'm gonna start by giving you a quick overview over my workflow which is composed of different main group we have the background removal the ac light group we have the depth map using the control net we have the IP adapter and the restore details group. So the first group that is important is which is the background removal group. Here we can load our target image. This image is gonna be resized. Then we're gonna use the Bria AI for the background removal. This Bria node is gonna create a certain type of mask which is gonna be used as a light source for the IC light group. Then this image is gonna be blended by notes which gonna blend the first image with the background removal image and taking into account the mask that we created after that the image is gonna be resized again then encoded into the ic conditioning light group the third group here we have the depth map group using the control net depth which gonna help us to create a depth map in order to take into consideration the location of our product this way we're gonna achieve more accurate and consistency with our final image and here we have also the ip adapter group this ip adapter is gonna help us to create the background and the light type of our image i also prepared a light group which is composed of different images that have different light source we have the daylight the moonlight we have the neon light and also the spotlight those images are gonna be used using the ip adapter model plus sd 1.5 and with the weight value of 0 0.5 but put in your mind that this weight value can change according to our first image so we need to experiment certain things to obtain a good results and the same slide here to the control net strength we also have the multiplier value that allows us to you know, to change the light intensity to obtain more intense light you can increase this value to 0 0.2 okay after that the key sampler is gonna create our image and you can see that we have the background and the light changes however we lost all our text details and you can see that is not readable that's why i thought about using a detail restore group which gonna help us to restore the details of our product as we see here we have completely restored the text that was originally on the uh, first image of the product and it is clearly readable and this group is composed of image blending nodes an image blend by mask and an image sharpen to uh, to sharpen the final results the first node is gonna take into consideration the original image that we created on the first nodes here and the image created by the easy light group to obtain these results after that this image is gonna be blended with the first mask that we created with the first group and we're gonna still use the same original image and you can see here the results without the sharpening notes as you can see it is also a good results but i wanted to add more details and allow the text to be able that's why we add here our sharpen nodes you can play with the sharpen radius here and the sigma value in order to obtain different results so let's start playing with this workflow first I'm, we're gonna start by play with the light source and the light background okay i i plug this sunlight image over here and i'm gonna change this text prompt to sunlight let's click q prompt 
and see the results by the AC light group. It has a good light source, but the image lost its text details and also the lighting is very intensive. However, we still have the position of our product, which is very consistent. And here, if we took, if we took close attention to the image comparer, you can see that with our detail restore group, that we have less light, less light intensity. And also we restored all the details into the product. I'm going to change this image to save image. This way I'm going to save all my created work images. Okay. Now we're going to try out with another light source like this one. And we're going to type in neon light. You can skip this part, but I found that using a text prompt to give more uh, better results. Let's click your prompt and see the results again. Here are the results of the AC light group. You can see it is very intense and the light changed completely over our work, our product. And here we have our final results with the detail restored. As you can see, it is consistent and more accurate. Let's do another try with the more light this time. Here we have our AC light results. As you can see, the strength of the IP adapter was too much for this image. It changed the, it changed the product into the moon. And for the final version, we can observe more impressive results. So as I said it earlier, you can play with the IP adapter weight in order to obtain different results. Let's change it to 0 0.4 and see the results again. As you can see, nothing is happening yet. Let's try out to decrease the value again to 0 0.15. Good, this one is more accurate. Now I'm going to change the first, the original image to something else and see how it is reacting to our workflow. Let's take this PlayStation 5 controller. I'm gonna select the sunlight first, then restore the IP adapter value to 0 0.5 and click Q prompt. Let's wait for the results. Here we have the IC light group results and as you can see we are facing another issue which is the light intensity was too high for this uh, image and it changed the material of the controller. As you can see here it is a golden material. However, for our detailed restored image, we have more impressive results and the details can be seen here. As you can see, I can clearly read the sonic name over the controller. So I'm going to give you here a quick, uh, quick tips in order to, to control the light blending using this value over here. The, blade, the blend percentage is going to help us to add more light or decrease the light. If, for example, I change the value to 0 0.75, we have less light on our product. However, if I want more light on this product, I will change it to 0 0.45. And you can see that we have more sunlight over our controller. Let me show you this with another images. Let's take, for example, this picture over here and let's change the value to 0 0.75 let's click Q prompt here we have our results as you can see the AC light group changed the light and applied uh, a huge intensity over the image and the details cannot be seen however with our restored group we can clearly see the details of this T pot but the light intensity is not too much matching so we need to find the good balance between the details and the light intensity. I'm going to change this blend value to 0 0.47. And you can see that we have more light compared to the previous one. I can also decrease it more to 0 0.25. And you can see that we have a good balance between the light intensity and the details of this object. Good. Let's do another example. Here we're going to take this Nike Air choose and let's restore this value to 0 0.75 and wait for the results here the rendering is done you can clearly see that we have different images 
with the AC light group there is too much intensity as always and the details are not quite impressive however with our restored group we have more details however but the light is not matching too much so let's change this value again and you can see that we have here a oh, good balance between the light matching and the details preserved I'm gonna change the type of light again and see how it is reacting neon light and as you can see it is more impressive so you need to put in your mind that you have to do a certain type of optimization using this blend value the IP adapter weight value and sometimes the strength of the control net so that's it for today's tutorial I hope that you found this workflow very useful I know that is combining a lot of different nodes starting with the control net and the IP adapter but the results it is very worthy if you are facing any issue please let me, let me know in the comment section below and also don't forget to push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and watch my others video thank you